Well, we are in a new spot. We're not in the vineyard today. We are in the Prosser Tasting Room here at Airfield Estates. And we've got a really fun exercise we're about to embark on. And what we're doing is we're trying 18 of our soon to be released wines or newly released wines. And what we're gonna do is see if they're ready for the critics to evaluate them. So we're gonna be having moments of silence where we're pondering these wines, thinking about the flavors and seeing if that wine is ready for a review. So we've got a couple score sheets. We actually got 18 different wines we're gonna try today. Um, and there's whites, there's reds, there's reserve wines, and we're gonna take them in a series of about six flights. And that whole time, we're gonna be asking three questions. One, is this a 90 plus wine? Is it not quite there yet, or is this something we need to put on hold? So we'll uh, get back at the end and talk about which ones were our favorites today and, and uh, talk about the scores as well. That was a fun tasting, and overall, the wines just tasted great. Couldn't be happier. And as Brad ably demonstrated, we left in good shape. All of us had spitted during the tasting and got home no problem. So as promised, I wanted to quickly mention to me the five wines that were most exciting from the tasting. And first is our Sauve Blanc. Uh, this Sauv Blanc has been just going through the roof for us. We've gone in three short years from producing 1,500 cases to with this 2020 vintage, we're producing 4,400. And it is just awesome. It's fresh. It's crisp. It's got this really nice balance point between typical Washington Sauv Blanc flavors as well as some of those more grassy notes you find in Chile and New Zealand. The next wine from the tasting I want to highlight is our 2018 Runway Blend. The Runway is a blend of 55% Cab Franc with 45% Merlot. And this 2018 bottling is our first year using concrete for fermentation. And it really made an impact. This wine, when I tr first tried it straight out of the tank, had this lifted aromatic that I had never picked up on any Bordeaux wine before. All of a sudden, I was getting Marionberry pie and uh, these high notes and great body, and I was blown away. And with then following that up with 20 months in beautiful French oak, this wine darkened and rounded out. And this is truly one of the more special wines we've ever produced here at Airfield. And I'm excited it's finally taking the stage. A definite favorite of our team was the 2018 Mustang. It was in the midst of a really tough flight of wines with, with some really exceptional rones on the table. And this tasted fabulous next to them. This wine got a perfect five for five rating of 90 point plus potential. And uh, it's, it's drinking great. I couldn't have been more pleased. This blend is a little over 50% Syrah, and then uh, around 40% Grenache, and coming in at just under 10% is Mavedre, and the blend works, the little bit of pepper from the Mavedre is there, and it's just drinking really well. The Michael. This is our flagship Rhone. And this is where we are just going for power and structure and ageability. And uh, man, did it deliver. This is a exceptional wine. Um, I've had the privilege uh, of trying this quite a bit over the last couple months. Uh, we, we are doing these comparative tastings with uh, truly phenomenal wines. 
And uh, this was on the table in December with a 97 point wine and a 93 point wine from Washington. And it definitely held its own. Uh, the volume, the mouthfeel, the flavors, everything is there. And uh, it must be uh, continuing to taste great because I'm just getting uh, text after text from my team as they try this in the tasting room. And uh, they're blown away. Uh, definitely the best Michael we've uh, yet to produce at Airfield. In my opinion, the number one wine of the tasting was the H. Lloyd. This is our flagship Bordeaux blend with predominantly Cabernet, but also Merlot and Cab Franc and a touch of Petit Verdot. And this 2018 is just truly exceptional. Whether it's uh, because we co-ferment this wine or the beautiful barrels or just really dialing in the fruit, this vintage hits heights that no other H. Lloyd has hit. It is a truly exceptional wine. And just this last week, we tried it alongside a 96-point Washington wine and a 100-point Bordeaux wine. And, and again, just phenomenal. It uh, was definitely a favorite and uh, just did exceptionally well. And so can't wait for you guys to try these five wines. But if you have just one, make sure it's the H. Lloyd. Thanks so much for watching my video. Thank <laughs> you.